Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a video about my Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. Okay, so I did this last year um, and I got some like really good feedback and I also got some people like asking me questions um, and I figured it would be kind of like a good thing to do. So I'm gonna do it again. This year's slight difference, I'm doing two shoe boxes um, and um, they're a bit different so I'll explain why, but as usual, I've got my little leaflet here, um, and it's exactly the same as in previous years. Um, basically, the um, things that you can and can't include are the same, so things like not to include are stuff like toy guns or knife, milit knives or military figures, um, certain liquids, <laughs> four suit playing cards. I don't really get that one, um, but okay. Uh, hand knitted items or fragile items, um, chocolate or any food except for sweets, um, I believe are still allowed actually. I should probably check that. Yeah, yeah. Sweets, as long as they've got their best before date of March by the following year. Um, and that's about it. Oh, and political stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, here are my shoe boxes. This year, the biggest difference is that um, I've actually got these shoe boxes. So I've I went to Shoe Zone um, because that's where you can drop them off in York and picked up some shoe boxes. You can buy the ones that are like the um, as I have pictured. No, so you can do it like this, like what I'm doing, or um, you can buy those little like ones like that, like I did last year. Um, but because I didn't find them anywhere, this is what I'm doing. I also, so I will decorate this in this paper, I just wanted to show you that it's, they're both the same. I've also obviously got two this year, only did one last year I think if I remember correctly, I might have done two actually now I'm thinking about it. Um, as usual though, you don't have to do it, you can also do it online if you want to, or you can do it in like a school. Um, but anyway, this is what I'm doing. So I've got my decorated box and my ribbon. Um, and I've actually got some ribbon for that one too. Um, I just got it from Paper Chase. It was a pound. It's three meters. I didn't use all three meters. I don't know if I've still got the other bit of the other one. <laughs> yes, I have. So um, that's like how much is left. So I probably have got about a foot, maybe a foot and a half of the other one left. So uh, a good amount of ribbon is required, but they also, when they, uh, whatever they do, as I said last year, um, ribbons and elastic bands go inside the box and then they tape it. Um, generally, I believe. Anyway, not the point. Here's inside this shoe box first. Um, and I will undo this one too. Da, 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 da. I'll tape that down. That's fine. So it does make it quite snug when you, <laughs> I didn't realise, yeah, I need to tape it. That's okay. Um, okay, here we go. They're both very similar in products. So they both have this pencil case um, from Sainsbury's. Um, and then this is where they kind of vary a little bit. Um, so let's do the non-decorated one first. Um, I have this from, oh, the pencil case was like 40p on sale. Um, this was from Poundland or Poundworld, whichever one closed down. And it has some crayons in it. Um, so, yeah, um, some fundo, um, four different colours, orange, green, and pink, and yellow, uh, this was a pound as well from a pound shop, um, this marching guard thing, I don't know what it's like inside, um, but I think it's just like a wind-up toy and you just go with the flow from there, um, that was from Home Bargains for like 75p, some socks from Home Bargains, which again cost about 70 something P, I think, or a pound. Uh, one packet of sweets, there is about three in here. There you go, three. And they all have a best before date of like 2019 September. They were 10p each. Um, these cost a quid from Morrison's, they're just party favour things. Um, yep, <laughs> a toy which I got from Home Bargains, which was like one pound something or other. Uh, it's just Peppa Pig. Um, these felt-tip pens, which were two pounds. Um, there's like, 
30 I think in here yeah I've got an, actually a pack of my own and I really like them they're really good um so them and they're in a case as well which is great um a bar of soap which I think I got two for like a quid or something it has to be individually wrapped so if you're gonna buy two like I did make sure that they do have individually wraps wrapped uh kids toothpaste that was like a quid from Morrison's a kid's toothbrush again which actually this one has like a sticky thing um is like a quid for Morrison's um some paper um so there's like this kind of design and then this kind of design and I don't really know what the middle one is I imagine it's plain it looks like it's lined um paper or maybe square paper um and then blank paper because there's no lines down the side I don't really know. Anyway, it's not important. Paper and lots of it. There was like a quid. Um, some whoopee cushions. Um, they were from Home Bargains, about 45p. I tend, um, somebody told me once that people, if they get multiples like this, will share them out with people or swap them or something. And then a blow up cricket ball, um, which is quite big, supposedly when it gets blown up. Um, I don't know how good that's going to be, but that was also from Poundland when it was reduced in the sale. Um, so that's all of those ones. Some of the Poundland stuff, like the Fundo, I actually got for 80p, which I was very impressed with. Okay, this one um, it has this little teddy, and I'm actually doing it so that I've got... Um, that I've sort of said five to nine years, they can change that if needed. Uh, and one boy, one girl. So this is the kind of more male one I'm going with. Um, I know this has a pink bow, but it's what it is. You can always take it off. Um, and it also has the CE label, and so does the Peppa Pig, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Um, I have taken the, the labels off these, um, but they are both brand new. Um, this one was actually like for a Mother's Day thing that Morrison's were doing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there was that. That technically was free then for me. Um, okay, a skipping rope. Um, this robot thing, wind up toy guard was the equivalent on the other one, but this is just the same, but it's a robot. Um, okay, some cars. Now these did come in packaging. They cost me like, four odd quid I can show you the packaging here's the packaging however um they're called street machines and they have the CE label um but I don't believe with toy cars that should make too much of a difference they're just plastic anyway aren't they um but they don't fit in the box with the packaging <laughs> so I took them out but there's like five different ones so there's that one like a formula one type one um the green one which kind of looks like a Ford. And then this one, which I don't really know what that would be. It's like a mini SUV. And then the last one's really tucked in here. This one, which totally looks like a Porsche 911. Don't know if that was it. it's intended, but I kind of think that's what it looks like. Um, anyway, so yeah, they were something like four odd quid, um, reduced down from like five quid. Um, anyway, there we go. Uh, the sugary, sweetie goodness in this one. Again, all of them have September 2019. Oh, yeah, because we're in 2018. <laughs> Time flies. Um, some socks. Again, these ones are actually slightly bigger. Um, I've no idea in terms of size-wise what kind of kids are, but never mind. Uh, hopefully they'll be okay. Um, and these were, again, from Home Bargains and cost about exactly the same for about a quid. Um, <laughs> this cars thing, which again was like 80p and with the colours, um, do, do, do. some pens as well, same thing from Sainsbury's, the paper, same thing, the, I think everything is now the same, oh no it's not, toothbrush, soap, or soap, as I would normally say, um, yeah, toothpaste, Get old toothpaste. Um, whoopee cushion. I don't know if these are going to expand when the plastic comes off, but you know. 
And, uh, and oh yeah, so this one is a beach ball. Uh, same size, same cost. Um, it's just a beach ball instead. Um, but I figured, you know, things like the back of here can be drawn on um, as well. So it's kind of always thinking about how can you kind of take one thing and make it another. So also like pencil case, don't necessarily have to put pencils in it, but there's a piece of card in it. Don't know really why, but that can also be drawn on. So that is all of the products and items in my box. I don't really know how much I've spent. It's kind of spent over the past um, three, four, five months, five months I think. I've probably picked up one of the earlier things five months ago. Um, and uh, the shoe boxes I got for free, so you can, as I said, um, pick up shoe boxes like the standard ones that the um, actually are provided um, that buy Samaritan's Purse, and then you just pay for them. Or you can just find any shoe box and cover it, or as you can do what I did, which was run down to your local shoe zone and um, ask if you can have one for free. Um, so I did pick up more stuff. Um, I also picked up these juggling balls from Home Bargains, I also picked up these glow in the dark galaxy things from Home Bargains and I also picked up another skipping rope but I don't have space for them in the boxes as you could tell at the beginning so um, I'm just going to leave them out um, and I'll save them for next year or whatever, I'll figure it out. <laughs> but um, that is what is in my boxes um, for this year. The one thing I do tend to do is I tend to glue, as you can probably just tell, as well as sellotape. So I'm just kind of getting slowly on. Um, I've not done the lid yet. And there we have it. We have two shoe boxes covered and stuffed with things. I managed to fit in this glow in the dark thing in the end. So I've only got the skipping rope and the um, juggling balls. Um, I actually, this one came with wrapping paper or tissue paper, so I'm keeping that in it. Makes it look a little nicer, I think. Um, so it's now just a matter of putting the lids on, tying the bows, and sticking the, gluing the things on. So this is the end of the ribbon. You see how that's frayed a little bit? Um, basically by lighting it, it will stop it from fraying and end this kind of end. It's like got a, a seal on it. I don't really know. It's like a... I don't really know what to call it, but it will stop it fraying basically. So that's what I'm going to do to the ribbon. Um, and then I'm done. I just need to drop them off at my local Depop or Depot or whatever you want to call it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you very soon. Bye.